Okay, I'm going to make a video on the Rubik's Cube. <clears throat> I uh, was hesitant to do this. There's a lot of great videos out there on YouTube. But several people kept asking me, so I decided, well, I can either continue to hear people ask me or I can just do it. So here I am doing it. So I got a brand new Rubik's Cube for the occasion. Uh, Target, $7.99 today. Today is November... I don't know what today is. Today is November, November 11th, 12th, something like that, 2016. Okay, first thing you got a couple things we got to understand here <clears throat> about the cube. You may know this already, but I'm going to tell you again. The center, the center color, that is the color of that side. That will never change. Yes, it will rotate, but it will never change. That's always going to be the side. Okay, so when you're looking at a side, center <clears throat> is the color of the side. The center blocks have only one color. You go to the edge blocks, edge blocks have two colors. Right? So they're edge blocks. And then there are corner blocks. Corner blocks have three colors, as you can see here. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to make this a three-part video. Now the way I look at this, and a lot of people do that you look at, is I look at it as three steps or three layers. You have a bottom layer, you have a middle layer, and you have a top layer. I was going to stop at the top, start at the top letter, le level, layer. You get that done and mastered. Then you go to the um, to the middle, which is actually pretty easy. And then the very final layer, the, the bottom, is actually the most difficult. But once you get the other ones done, you know, you'll be fine. And you're always going to mix this up a little bit. I uh, try to videotape this like this so you can see it from my perspective. That's the way you're going to want to watch this. You can always pause this along the way. So here we go. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the white center. And that tells me that's the white side. Now always, you know, depends. You might get some weird colored Rubik's Cubes. But generally, if you get the Rubik's brand, the opposite of white is always yellow. You see the center of the yellow. So what I'm going to do first thing is I'm going to try to get the white edges. There are four of them. Uh, surrounding the yellow center. Now, how do you do that? Well, here's one, and I'm going to spin it here. Let's see if we can find what's a little bit difficult. Okay, here's one here. I want to put it here. I'm going to spin it and bring it up. So I don't really want to get into, I don't think there's any um, real tricks to tell you on that. You just have to play around with it, and you'll get used to getting them around the yellow. You know, sometimes you might have one that's uh, say here, and you can just turn it like that. You know, it's different methods, but it's not that hard. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to look at the side color of the white. <clears throat> so, it says an orange. I want to line up with the orange center, which is right there. Once I line up with the orange center, I'm going to turn it one and two. Now, it went over here. Now, notice what happened here. And what that did was gave me the white edge and the orange the white edges have two colors the orange the other color of the white edge orange is now aligned with the orange center which is exactly where it should be that's really important back to your yellow center and here is a white with blue I'm gonna line that up with the blue center okay I'm gonna put my arms a little bit here now <clears throat> again one two it's back up here with the white now you can see my white center has white edge with blue, with the blue center, and a white edge with orange, with the orange center, which is exactly what you want to have, okay? Back we go to the yellow center. This one happens to be lined up, red with the white, one, two, and now I'm getting closer to getting my white cross there, or plus sign, however you want to look at that. Back to the yellow center, I've got one more, it's green. Align that with the green center, it's right here, and voila. So this is step one, getting that white plus sign. Not only getting the white plus sign, making sure all of the edges of that white plus sign are aligned with their side colors, or center colors, if you want to look at it that way. So now, all I have now is to get these four corners. Best way to do this. I always look, now when I'm looking at this thing, this is the bottom row. I'm looking for a white 
like you see here. So this one is a good one to work with. Happens to be the only one I have. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that. Here's how you do it. What are the other two colors? Green and orange. What I want to do is I want to put it underneath green and orange. It needs to go right here. See? This one's in the wrong spot. Yes, it's white, but it is not the right other the other two colors are in the wrong spot. This one, green and orange, is the right spot. So I'm going to put it under where I want it to go. See, I want it to go right there. See? But look what happened. I don't want to get rid of my side edge color. So the better way to do that is to move it out of the way. Bring the side down. And then bring this over. And then bring it up. Now I've got that in the right spot. You can see that. Okay, again, I'm looking at the bottom. Here's the one I just popped out of there. It's red and green. I'd like that to go right there. Red and green, white. So I'm going to move it. I'm going to go slow now. I'm going to move it out of the way. This side's going to come down. I'm going to bring it over. And I'm going to bring this up. And there it is. And I don't think that's too difficult if you get the hang of it. If, you know, you just got to practice. This one's in the wrong spot. Oh, let's do it with this one first. This one actually has to go right where that is. So again, we'll go like that. Okay, now I got this one out of here. And once you get going with this, it really, this is probably one of the easiest step. A lot of times people get one color and they say, yay, look at me, I got one color. But what you really want is, that's good, one color is good. But you really want to get these edge and corner pieces to be exactly right. That layer then is complete and you can see it there, okay? So I'm going to um, keep this, I'm going to make this three parts. That's going to be the end of this part. But at least you can practice that. Um, I'll give you an example of that too. But one of the things as we go through these algorithms, you're going to want to always do is you're going to have to flip it sometimes to find certain things and do certain things, but once you start an algorithm, you need to keep the, the cube in the right orientation. I mean, you're going to be moving things as you're going, but you don't want to um, spin it like this, okay, because then you're going to lose where that algorithm. You always start with a position and you, and you finish the algorithm in that position. So if this is facing me, a lot of times I might have a piece in the corner. I want always in my right thumb right here. And uh, that's where it's going to stay. I might move that piece around. It may do things. But the orientation of the cube uh, as, as, as a whole is going to stay in that orientation. You know, like I said, things are going to move and stuff like that. But anyhow, once you get this, here's the thing what I, I would do. So you got that step now, and you're like, wow, that's cool. Pick another side. Red and orange are always opposite. So let's just uh, go with orange. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solve the orange side now. I'm going to do one layer on orange. So what I want to do is I want to get all these orange edges around the red. So I'm basically going to do the same thing I did with the white. Um, and again, practice, and you'll get this. I'm trying to get my arms out of here. I'm trying to do this so you can see it exactly how you'll see it when you're doing it. So there it is. Looking at my side colors. Two turns. Uh, white. Two turns. Blue is lined up. Two turns. Green, two turns, and there I got my orange. Looking for my bottom pieces, here's a green and white. It's going to go right there. See, there it is, and here's a blue and white. I want that to go right up there. And let's see what else we have here. Here is, I'm looking for orange now, white and blue. Oh, that's not orange. I went the wrong way. I'm sorry. I was looking for... Uh, here's an orange with blue. Yeah, okay, here we go. I think I got mixed up on my colors. <laughs> uh, here is the last one, and then we're going to have the orange layer. And again, there's the orange, and you can see it. So, really master that. Get that to where it's... No, no problem. You can just pick the thing up, boom, get a layer done, and it's exactly you know, perfect. Because the next step is really not too bad. It's only getting these four edges, and then second layer is done. You really literally have four edges to put in the right place, and second layer is done. And then you get to the more complex final layer, which, which really is the hardest part. It has several um, algorithms. So 
that's all for now guys um, I know um, you guys wanted me to do this so there you go start there work on that master it be, you know so you can you don't have to just think about it you just do it and that's where it all starts so you got to be able to get that first first layer not only the one color but the edge colors, side colors also in the right spot there you go have a good day